Welcome. Hello. Today we're going to be making, I'm going to be making 10 cards using the same layout. You heard her. She, I, is, she is. I love taking, well, you know, I love quick and simple cards. And I send out a ton of birthday cards. So I'm making most of them birthday cards, but I'm using the same design. We're going to make 10 different styles. And if you brought your supplies, they were all listed. You can work along with me. So that is so cool. So glad to have you guys here including Stephanie from France. I said, it's always just amazing that we have people from so far away, Pam, Madeline, all kinds of people. Oh, we just, all kinds of people, <laughs> all people. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thanks for coming to our wonderful time. This is a day late. We had um, a funeral, a, a funeral of Tim's, one of his like first, my first roommate um, after family. Yeah, um, when you went to Bible school, right? Yeah. After, yeah. So he died um, at age 75. Um, yeah. He had Parkinson's and complications and yeah. He so, lived a good life. So we we're glad we could be able to switch this and kind of fit with our life. So, yep. so thank you. Yep. So thanks, everyone. Uh, just a couple quick announcements. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I've got to get caught up on comments. So that is my goal this weekend. It has been really a hectic week. And I'm knee deep in working on paper shares. Queen. It starts with Queen. Queen. Okay. This is the host code. And if you, if your order is 150, don't use the host code because then you get the host benefits. And if you're interested in that amazing planner and just getting a discount and getting an amazing deal, keep that in mind too. Feel free to call me about that. Um, and not this weekend, but next weekend is already the next All Good Cards Club. And we are doing all fancy folds pullout cards. So this is just one. This is just to give you a little sneak peek of the kinds of things we do. Um, when we do the August Cards Club, it's kind of like this. We meet three times, only it's much more casual uh, on, on a weekend, but you get the videos, the PDFs forever. And then people make, and they're all on a theme. So I kind of do a themed thing. And then, but what we do within that theme, we, you know, I like to do a variety in one theme. That's what I like. So, <laughs> And this, for heaven's sakes, is not casual. This is very serious. Yeah, wait, I can get even serious, more casual than this. No, <laughs> Serious business. I do take more time to read the comments. And I, yeah, anyway, it is, you know, it's community. It's being together and hanging out together. And I, you know, we all get to know each other and that's, you know, I, I love the All Good Cards Club. It's a $15 a month if you join every month. And if you want to just take one class, you can pay more and do that. But it's the idea that we have like a mini retreat every weekend and we hang out together and we get to know each other and our stamping styles. And I just love it. So we totally appreciate that. And the card kit for this month is with an adorable camper, but I can't find the... Uh, how do you join the All Good Card Club? That's very that's very good. I will put a link up here afterwards and where it just says to do that. I always suggest, even if you want to try out a class, sign up for the monthly pay and then just stop right afterwards. You can stop anytime, but you get the um, the lower cost. And we'd love to have you join us. It's just always fun. You know, I, you know, one of my comments that I live by is we are all more creative together than we are separately. And that's what I love about community. And it's the same thing I do here where, you know, this layout we're doing today, that's what people are going to post. You're going to post over in the back porch stampers. And we do a little drawing there every week, which is fun because we just like to see not my 10 ideas, but all of your many ideas. I think it just helps us all. You don't need to use Stampin' Up! stuff even. It's just taking the idea, use your stash, share your ideas with us. So we love it. Yes, we do have cards on the mantle again. How about that? To pique your interest. My goal is to switch them out every month. So, you know, we'll see. So just love that. And thank you for the condolences. Yes. Thank you. Uh, oh, and the winner of last week's drawing. You know, this is what I do with retired stamp sets. This is going to Joyce Knapton. So if you just message me your address, that will go in the mail to you. Have you set that aside? And for this week, we're going to do this uh, summer days because that's just, it is so, been so hot here in Huma. This is summer days. And I just, this reminds me so much of being a child and reading outside. I love being outside. I love reading. I grew up in a small town and I think I read pretty much every novel in the whole library and I'd go home with stacks, stacks of books and carry them up the hill to our house. It's so is funny. Is that the, the giving tree? <laughs> It kind of looks like be, the giving tree. And then just walking in the woods. And I know a lot of 
a lot of you are suffering from the heat too. I said, so it's just kind of amazing. Um, <laughs> oh, Heather, you're so sweet. We just love all the comments. We love you guys. It's so wonderful. Oh, and Joyce is on here. So good. Yes. PM me your mad address and that's good. And this will be the next one thinking of this hot summer. And now we've got, got mail. mail. And you know what? We do. And let me just say that last Thursday, a week ago yesterday, I we had just a kind of a few cards, but I, I actually then he found some. I found, yeah. Oh, do you know what? Oh, did I put some on here? I think I found some too, or maybe these are in the I, I might have put them here. I don't know. We just find them. As we soon, absolutely as soon love as I'm it. Off the camera, I'll go look. Lane said it's hot in the UK today, too. Yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> can be all over it's just amazing we actually have a gift in the mail so how about this we're going to start with this this is from Heidi Scholler from Australia Heidi if you're on Heidi. here have thank you, you. Uh, uh, um Pat is saying Tim have you seen the giving tree postage stamps yes I've got them oh we've got them. okay I've got them so it is so fun that we are a worldwide community you guys I just absolutely love it so anyway if you're on here let us know but I'm gonna we're gonna open what's in here my goodness, this is... There's two. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Okay, so oh, I better put this down now. <laughs> so that's so you can enjoy it. Look at this. We have okay. two gifts. Oh, using DSP for wrapping paper. Is that just adorable? I think oh. this one's mine. Okay, look. Okay. Oh, look at this. T and K. Now, Tim and Karen, but this is Tasmanian Devil. And look at that. That is a coin... It's a Tasmanian devil on it. And that's a coin for what, Karen? Kelpie. A Kelpie? And what How is cool is that? I don't really even know what a Kelpie is, and I, I might have to go look that up. That is so, so cool. And they're so shiny. Oh, and what a fun personal mine, gift to do that. Mine, oh, those are mine really is special. a rat. I have a rat. I'm taking a quick break here to comment on Pat. Pat Nagy's comment. She said she grew up across from a park with a lake. So a friend and um, she and a friend would take their new library books to picnic hill, eat lunch and read all afternoon. <gasps> I have fond memories <laughs> of doing that same thing. And you know what that, but your comment reminds me of the Betsy Tacy books. Um, and you know, those took place in Mankato, Minnesota here. Uh, and I love the Betsy Tacy books among other things, but it makes me think of uh, the house on the big hill. <laughs> anyway, so it's very cool. Okay. So, so this, now we're on. Okay. Is this from this that is, um, is that from this Karen and Tim. Yes, from Heidi. Okay, so see, look at this. Oh, um, <laughs> well wrapped. This is fun. I feel like you're um <laughs> with us for a gift wrapping, <laughs> gift unwrapping. Okay, okay. In here. This is well wrapped. Okay. Even bubble. Oh my goodness. Oh oh. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards. Okay. Oh, and letters. Okay. Letter. Okay. This is amazing. Look at both of these. Okay. This is for Tim. This is letter. And look at this cute, cute card. Oh my goodness. Um, so we'll read that later. Thank you, Heidi. And this is really fun. Do you see how um we've made these cards before and I've done them more with um more flowers and stuff? I just love that with the band. How cool is that? So do you want to open? Well, let's open them together. Okay, and look at mine, which is really a fun with all those crisscrossed. That is so, so cool. Oh, Tim got the longer letter. Oh, he feels special because you look know he this. loves that. Just, you know, you made his day. Yes, you did. But I will be reading it to him. So, <laughs> so it will be shared. How cool is this? Okay, we're going to unwrap together? No. You want center stage? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, you want to work on yours. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm you know I'm trying to save the ribbon, um, but I'm. Well, I'm going to start then because okay, I don't I, think I, I can. I, uh, okay, so I'm saving my ribbon. That's right. That's see. Right. I'm thinking we should just open them together. Okay. And uh, see if they're same or different, or you know what I call similar but different. Oh. <laughs> How fun is this? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh. I still don't know. Uh, slipper socks. Oh my goodness. Oh, is that oh is <laughs> that adorable? <laughs> oh, that is. oh, that is adorable. Kangaroo. It says one size fits most. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta take these out. 
<laughs> it's just hilarious. Is that a koala? Susan loved the Nancy Drew series. Oh man, I owned all of those later in life when I started collecting books, but I read all of them. Oh my goodness. Those would be great winter socks. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Well, yes, oh, that is so cool. That <laughs> is the you. best. That is so fun. That is the best. That is so, so fun. Love it. Okay. And now we're going to move on to some cards. See if you can kind of put those together. We'll, we'll, we'll do our best. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just a second. Okay. Go ahead. And this is for my mom. I love getting cards for my mom. And uh, oh, I look at this. That is so cool. Beautiful summer card. Yes, it's going to be a great 4th of July or any summer card, summer picnicking, but a great July card. How cool is that? That quilt look. Vesta, you're the best. <laughs> that is so cool. I have this thing. They have so, so many books. Yeah. If I ever told you, we homeschooled. So um, for math, once our kids needed to count, you know, you'd measure and count the number of books, divide it, and then do that through all the bookshelves. It was an assignment to see how many books. They got up to 5,000 books in our house. <laughs> Mm. and stop and our son went to a local library and he came home and said mom we have more books than this little library has that he had visited <laughs> it was just hilarious so Kathleen Salsa in Illinois love it oh some of these are ones I found they were they were they so they were not recent these cards but I found this little stack and I thought oh my goodness I don't think we shared these so we are going to so if we shared them before if we did no, I, I, I know we didn't share some, so then I decided I did, had to go on a limb and decide we hadn't shared any of them. Tressa Wyeth, because oh, these are just all so fun. So look at the pretty paper mm -hmm. and the little flower right there. So grateful. That is so cool. This one is so a dar darling for, for Tim. <laughs> And I know he's shown some tractor cards, but <laughs> I remember him showing me this card, and I don't remember if we showed it online. So, we had, so it showed again if we did, because I thought, and I know message, I saw it, but I think it was showing him it. Oh, crop. It's past your birthday. Yes, I yes. think that is the funniest card. It is. <laughs> so I think that is so fun. <laughs> I just love that. That is so cool. Oh, and she's got a little tractor in there, too. What a that perfect is. card for Tim. So occasionally we get confused because, you know, Tim opens everything ahead of time. I never do, but sometimes he comes and shows me things. <laughs> Jennifer Helm to both of us from Maryland. From Maryland? The person or the, because that was from the state of Maryland. Oh, yeah. No, this is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same for one. Both. Yes, yes, yes. So thank oh, you. Jennifer. So this one's for both oh. of us for our anniversary, you see. That oh, was very, all about yes, you. Yes, this was. It's anniversaries. This is a gatefold where it meets in the middle. And isn't that gorgeous with yes. the stamps there? And then she's got some cut out and put on top. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Heather says she's got at least 2,000. I'm sure I'm sure you do. If you're a book collector, they really count up. <laughs> and Nancy Agers, how cute is this? And this would be, oh, my goodness, look <laughs> at this pop-up card. Oh, how cute is that? It is. Fourth so she's July. made this hole inside. And this looks like, this makes me think of, this could be a special thing for a card making, like in a kit, but also makes me think of, you know, people that recycle cards or prints or postcards. Is yeah. that gorgeous cut out like that? And it's um, like vintage. It is. It's a real vintage look. I love that look. And then you open it and it's like, oh my goodness, that <laughs> is stunning. That is stunning. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. That's the street was that one for my mom. And this is one for us. Oh, look how fun that is. And very simple, love, that love simple cool. cards. And it's like a take on July 4th without, we've got like three stripes. Red, white, and blue. And then we've got the, the star buttons. as buttons. I love that. It's like a whole different take. I'm using the red, white, and blue and then gone through a folder. Very nice. Vesta. That is so cool. It's so cool. And then, oh, a gatefold only means that they meet in the middle. That's just an easy term. Um, to remember like if you're wondering. so it's not, yeah. Darla Nicholson from Pennsylvania. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, that is. Oh my, oh my oh, goodness. We'll cross some little things in there. Uh, we'll see if Tim can get on the floor and then get up again. <laughs> how fun is that? Uh, I wanted to point out, I love this soft. Looks like she's stamped just in white ink, not embossed. So it's not shiny. You know, if you emboss white, it's shiny. If you just stamp in white, it gives you the soft, subtle 
look. And I think that is really pretty how the stars are stamped. It's very Ooh, subtle. That looks like a tattoo. Yeah. Oh, and a little stickers inside. Very cool. Very cool. Yes. Fun to see all these patriotic cards. Pat Settle from Indiana. Oh, and three things. You know, we just did the postage cards thing. So you could do this idea with postage, the postage stamp too. Or I said any rectangles. How cool is that with the three? Um, dandelions. I loved that stamp set. That is also wonderful. Are those, those, those aren't fireworks. Those are dandelions. <laughs> but here they could be they fireworks. Could, yeah, You're they right. Could, they yeah. could with a star in the middle. I love what Carlos is saying about her fifth, um, our fifth grade teacher would read a chapter of Nancy Drew after lunch each day. We would beg for an extra chapter. I too still read mysteries. Do you know what mine did too? And I don't know. I think it was sixth grade. And I think it was Nancy Drew. And I think of all the books you could read. The only teacher in all of my years that read a chapter aloud. And it impacted, I think, all of us tremendously. I think well, every teacher. Do, did you ever have a teacher do that? Yes, like in ninth grade. But what were they reading in ninth grade? It was a chapter book. And oh, it was and it wasn't wonderful. good? Yes. Oh, oh it was So you never nice. outgrow it. I said, how no, awesome is no. that? I and love was, that. I think he was our drama teacher. Um, that or English. But it was either one. And um, it was very memorable. I think reading I aloud is just that. one of the nicest things you could do. You know, when Tim lost his ability to read, I was reading Tim a lot. But when we homeschooled, we had our kids were far ranging and they will all tell you their favorite memory was in the morning. They'd have breakfast wherever they'd sit, sit on the sofa and have breakfast. And I would read and I would read a chapter out of a novel and then a chapter out of a historical kind of thing we were reading or a biography or something. And just such fond memories of all that before we ease into the day. So that's such a cool thing for teachers to do. So, Tim, I did not know that. Yeah. I learned something new about you today. How cool is this, Marlene Butler, in the bright parakeet party? Love it. Love that. Oh, um, I'm doing a card with, with the stamp set today. Love that. It is great. Oh, Pat, just Google Kelpie, and it shows an Australian sheepdog. Oh, Ooh. I love hearing that. I did not know, know that. That is so fun. I think reading aloud does create so many memories. I, I just think it is awesome. Oh, and a nice thank you card from Kathy Ost, who is, um, for all the cards, you know, I was talking about that I gave her now all these bags of cards for her to redo and do things. And this is a thank you for giving her all the supplies. She is a known, known card giver. So she is. awesome. Lisa Holland from Connecticut. Oh, and I love her. Made with love on the back. How cool is that? And an oversized card. So you just really notice that. And mm. so she's got the flowers on the inside. And she's got the little bird. Is that and another her, set of flowers her outside. Lisa? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Lisa, that is really pretty handwriting. It is. Cali yeah. We always calligraphy. notice that in the corner thing. Very fun. Very fun. And, um, oh, I'm loving all these comments. I got to take a little... Uh, Evelyn Woody said her fourth grade teacher read a chapter of a lunch um, about American heroes. Now that I think would be fabulous because I think reading biographies, you learn so much. I love that idea. Um, and uh, that is so cool. And Andrea says her son loves it when they read aloud. They cuddle and read anything and everything. Sometimes he asks me to read a cooking magazine I'm looking at. I think that is so wonderful. And they even say, you know, with young kids, the greatest thing you can do to ensure their school success is to read to them. I think hearing all those words, the cadence, the rhythm, the vocabulary you build. And Heather says for her kids, instead of giving them a bunch of books for their birthday, she gives them a new book at the beginning of each week during the summer. And they're out of school. Oh, I love that. That's a great idea. And how fun to teach them to look forward to a book. Ida Ray had a sixth grade teacher read the Little House books. Wonderful. And uh, Linda said she was a paralegal in fifth grade on rainy days with no recess. She would read during recess. Oh, that is so cool. While the teacher did her own work. Oh, that is so wonderful. And you may not know this about me, but I grew up, or you knew that I grew up on a farm, but we had a central heating. We had one, one thing in the middle of our dining room and it heat, heated the whole house. And Margaret, my mom, would sit in her big chair over that, mm -hmm. chew on ice cubes for some reason, <laughs> well, and redo it. Oh, how fun. She, yeah, and you remember I that. I remember that. 
I, my, I did not grow up in a family that read aloud, but yeah. how tender. I yeah. love that. But our, our kids certainly yeah. grew up in a family that read out loud. And I'm, I love reading to the grandkids. I mean, it is just wonderful. Okay. And now we have Maureen Preston from New York. Oh, a little birdie told me. <laughs> you got something to celebrate. Happy birthday. How cute is that? So a little birdie told me on the outside with the musical notes and the bird on the inside. Oh, I love it. That is so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> yeah, some people do start reading when they're pregnant. I think that cadence, of, you know, there's got to be that thing about that. Though, so that's wonderful. Okay, and the last one from Leah Norlinger. Oh, and a postage stamp card. Like we done. How cool is that? Two going that way, one going this way. Oh, four, and then four, and the words going that way. Another design. Another design with the postage stamps. If you guys saw, if you've seen over in the back porch stampers, all the postage card stamps. I said that I, was so fun. I think that might be one. Oh, this is one. Okay. What's that? Is that what you're gonna make? Uh, this is Kathy Salsa. Oh, and this is to you. Well, you're gonna and do a little that collage out. card. <laughs> oh, how fun is that? Love it. And she um she put a sign in the back. No saliva was used to seal this envelope. <laughs> That is so nice. Thank you. <laughs> that is great. Oh, so fun. Yeah, the postage stamp is such a useful stamp. I just I love it. Um, oh, Gail was talking about the little free libraries. You know, that was started in Wisconsin. I remember reading the story about, and it was something about an older woman. Older man, I think. I think it was an older woman. Her son oh. did it for her because she wanted to get books, you know, because she couldn't get out much anymore or something like that. And so she would look out her picture window and watch all the kids come home from school and they decided to put up a little free library and she kept it well supplied with kids books. Cause then from the window, she could watch the kids look through and they'd look through every week to see what else they could find. And, and then it grew from there. And I think that is what a gift. I love those two. And the story I heard was that a man widowed and his wife had a ton of books. Oh, he did and, in her memory. And he did that in her memory to get rid of all of her books. So he'd put oh. her books up now. Who it's is, probably all those stories are yeah. connected because there's so many stories. It's, but It's turned into an urban legend. Okay, But I will say, I'm going to put it back on her face. I will just say <laughs> one of my favorite Little Free Libraries, it's about a mile down the road. And so when I walk up to Starbucks or something, I always go by there. And I get so many good books out of that. And the I know the woman's in her wheelchair and more housebound, but her husband will be sitting outside. And so I chat with him when he's sitting outside and it's so fun because I tell him, I love the books your wife picks. So just let her know. I'm the one that keeps coming to get them. And, and they just love that. They just, um, he says, Oh, I will tell her. Cause you know, she reads all the time. And I think even that is a story and just kind of getting to know them. And, you know, so he looks for me to come by and then we chat and I think that's so fun. So yeah, I, I, we keep in the car, two small boxes. One of books to be put back in the libraries. One of books I haven't read yet. So every time we see a new one, I stop. <laughs> it's sometimes more than two boxes. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I would like to. Um... Jean says she went to country school and had the same teacher for four years. And she instilled such a love of reading that she reads 80 books a year. This year alone so far, I think, oh, that is so fun. I am. Um... Uh, and Kathy Navarro said that they live far away from the library, but every three weeks, the bookmobile came through about six blocks away and they'd ride their bikes with baskets and to get books for three. Aren't those fun stories about reading? Oh my goodness. I can't possibly go back and see all these, but I will come back, um, and read all of these. I, I just think that is so fun. I just love it. We get off on tangents and, uh, uh, oh, Kathy said her fifth grade teacher gave them the choice to go out for recess or stay in and listen to her read. She and two other girls always stayed in. She read The Secret Garden, and she's always remembered that book. How cool is that? Uh, oh, that is so fun. Very cool. Yeah, maybe we need a little free card, little book. <laughs> I just love this. Okay, so we will actually get to our design, and I always like to know who's going to work along with me. I said this is such a, a fun design because we're actually starting with the pattern paper. So I made a comment that you could really just go to your scraps to find something like this out of you like. Um, but I'm just going to show you a few more. And then and then we're going to make a bunch. So notice these are all the same design. Now they could be stepped up. A way, An easy way to step them up would be to take this piece and run through an embossing folder. I chose to leave them all 
just simple for the teaching part of this, but you feel free to embellish. They could have another layer of cardstock. I'm doing the simplest version as this is just what I love to do. And see, I'm building up my supply of happy birthday cards because I send out like 150 a month. I had to make one exception because this was way too much Christmassy, but how, how cute is that? I just thought that's just really cute. <laughs> I was thinking this could be a birthday for December because mm -hmm. it's kind of like, ha, 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 you, you know, it's funny that you have a birthday card. I don't know. I don't know what I could do. But just look at all of these cards and they're all the very, very same pattern. So I thought that is pretty fun. I love stories about the bookmobile. We did not have one because I was a town girl. But in so many novels, you read about the importance of the bookmobile, bookmobile in keeping people connected. So I think how that, how that cool is. Okay, Carlos is playing along. Okay, and Nancy used to read a book a week and now she listens to books while she works. She goes through five books a week. Ooh, wow. yeah. I love to listen to books too. And Tim really does. I mean, he uses Audible now and... Um, and tries to follow along a little so we can stop it and underline something. But I just love it. I have always, I love mysteries. And I used to travel a lot by myself. And I used to put mysteries in the car because that would be the one book when I'd get tired that would keep me awake. <laughs> okay. So here I'm using designer's first paper. The other we're just using plain cards. But I think this is the coolest thing. And all we're doing, I pre-stamped my words just so I didn't have to do that here. And I'm using on a lot of these cards this new glitter washi tape. Look at this. It's a set of four. Um, and I was originally going to use all ribbons. So I used some ribbons, but look at all this. These washi tape just fit all these different cards, including this one. So all of these were done with this set of washi tape. I just want to point that out because it's so quick and easy. So here are my pieces. Let me get this all out. I'm going to do the first one. And so these are the pieces I suggested that you have. And of course, you can always make adaptations afterwards. And you're going to put your cards over in the backboard stampers so we can all enjoy them there. I am going to just put this right along this paper. And then I'm going to put this one. Oh, see, paper is two sides. Got to test that. I didn't like my little my little <laughs> wiggly thing there. So I just did the other side. Or I could have turned it around and done it that way. So with this, you have four chances to get your words on straight. It's all good. But I do do that beforehand. Okay, so this is how the card goes. Now, how simple is that? And then you're going to decorate it however you want. Um, Nancy's talking. I just love the books that reading makes the day go faster. And there are times when she forgets like the weather outside because it's a different season in the book. I think it's hilarious because sometimes I have trouble imagining when I'm reading and they're talking about how bitterly cold it is and I'm just dying all need or vice versa. Yeah, I always think that's so fun. Okay. I really need, okay, good. I have some here. Let's say, um, I just have minis though. Maxis. Do you know? I don't know Should if you're going to. Go see if you can, I'm not ones. sure, the big ones. I don't know if you yeah. if you would know where they are or not. Otherwise, we'll take our time because we're chatting today. I'm not in a rush. Tim's going to go out when we're done and bring mom some ice cream. Her favorite ice cream was, you know, we used to go to Culver's a lot and we, when she used to get out more. So it's still her favorite. So that's the ice cream we get for her because, you know, it's all about the memories. So I think that's so cool. Oh, I forgot to put my little purr my little purple washi tape. So that's an extra little thing he does each week. He goes out an extra time to see her and brings her ice cream. I don't know if this is enough. There's more. Out okay, there, that'll, so. that'll, that'll, that will, that will do. Okay, I'm going to see how close I can get this. I would normally have done that on it, but it's okay. So here's the base of my card. And I thought you could start from there. Now, Heather, I think was just saying she's got butterfly scraps that would be beautiful with this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, uh, Rhonda saying <laughs> she and her friend were watching competition horse jumping. It was sunny in Germany where it was happening. Oh, and they had a room for a whole week when they came out, it was all gray. And it's like, who sold the sunshine? That could be when you're reading too. And you come out and you're just like, oh, back to real life. What's this? <laughs> so I'm just going to put a couple of these on. So I'm going to put this hues of happiness is so fabulous. And then to put my little leaves on, I'm going to just put... 
them. Glue dots. Glue dots. Just kind of my, whoop. I was going to say it's my favorite thing to do. You're not going to notice, are you, that I, oh, look what I did. I, I, I cut one out. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to trim it so you don't know it was cut. That's real life. You like that, Tim? Because I left I like that it. one behind. Okay, so I'm going to be a little more gentle here. I just got a little carried away. Oh, these are really sticky. Yeah, they just don't want to leave. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm just going to do one. I need one more. Oh, he picks up after me. Look at that. Okay, and then I'm going to do this one. And I put that in. And we have a finished card. Now, I do think this would be lovely if this were embossed. If you're going to put words on, you put your words first and then you emboss. So the words are already on there. So they're not going over bumps. But I think this is a pretty card. And some of you are going to get this on your birthday because I'm going to make a bunch of these. Okay, so that's the first card. Speaking of butterflies, we're going to do a butterfly card. So I'm, I'm doing the very same thing here. So you can just create along or you can or you can watch me. So if you're wondering the sizes, they run the thing. And of course, they'll all be on my website. But this is one inch by two and a half. And so this is two and a half by four because it's going to go across this piece, which is four by five and a quarter, which is just going to fit right on there. So very cool. Well, did you make a mistake again? Oh, I did, but I don't know why. I maybe. I, oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think it was more crooked than I did wanted, you, and you, since I had more chances. Or did you pick the wrong side now? I know. So. I might have, but I would have lived with it if I couldn't have fixed it. But yeah. when when you can fix, I mean, that's sometimes the problem when you can fix something, because uh, you just want to mess with it too much. Oh, actually, I would like. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm not gonna put these you, on. You have too many choices. Oh, and. Before I go on, let's decide what I'm going to use with this. I don't think any of those colors. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, I'm gonna use green because the that, green goes with here. I, thought, I have a couple choices that would work here. That matched. would work, but this would work too. I was gonna do this because I use green here. If I'd used the fresh freesia, then I would have used that. So I'm just kind of going with uh, to accent what I did more of. So I'm going to put this on. Oh, if you don't have this new washi tape, I said, doesn't this make, I just love how it makes cute little trims. That is so cool. Okay, so I'll put this one on. And then I just cut out one of those big butterflies. I just love how happy this card is. I'm going to flip these ends up a little. And I'm going to use little glue dots down the middle. And I know if I put this in the mail, it'll flatten out and they might not realize that. But if I give it in person, hanging on a white bag or something like that, then I would leave it so it's really kind of a birthday gift. Because I like that. Very How nice. cool is that? I'll have to make a bunch of those too. Uh, yeah, and the uh, washi tape, yes, could be covered, cover up little boo-boos like Rhonda said do a little, but I thought... Uh, oh, the American Girl books. I do have to say something about with um, Heather is mentioning that. My kids love those. So we had all of those. And one of the things I absolutely loved, well, number one, I, I taught the kids a little writing with that because they're very formulaic, you know, with the six books. And there's always like a surprise and a birthday. So it's really cool. But my favorite thing, in addition to the kids loving it, was that they each had a place in time. So when we would be discussing history later, I could say, oh, that was in Molly's time. <laughs> and, you know, that book kind of resonates with them and kind of a little bit what her life was like, you know, or that was in is that Kristen or Kristen's time, whatever. So it's just kind of fun because you could kind of hook a period of time around it. So I uh, love that. I think being homeschooling our kids prepared you for doing Stampin' Up! Well, <laughs> it, it might have, but, you know, I just love teaching, but I love, you know, I love I love the interconnectedness, how we're all connected together, how ideas are all connected, how, you know, you take an idea like this and it's all connected because you can keep expanding on a theme. So Am whatever. I storing the ones that you made in a separate pile um, to show later, like down here? Oh, sure. You can do whatever. Okay, here's here's the next one we're going to do. Because you could also use a stamp. So I want to make sure I cover that too. So I'm using Glad We're Friends and this cute little Corgi here. Is that just adorable? 
So for this card, so that's a stamp set. And for this card, I did use from there, Glad We're Friends. That will work for a birthday card too. And so I'm going to put this on. And I need to find my little, my little piece of, oh, here it is. Okay, so here's, here's my little, it's actually flowers. And I thought those colors would work just fine. And this time, so this is all kind of, um, this was kind of a cut off piece side from something else. So we're going to wrap this a few times. We'll see how far this goes because there's really not enough to save. So we'll just use it. Love this twine. And this is kind of a monochromatic, you know, not so colorful card. And I love it. Okay, so there's my little corgi card. And I'll put this on, on these. I'm just thinking how hot it is in our house. It is warm here. We have... My grandson Hank has a tournament that's tonight and all day tomorrow. So we're going to be outside because you know we'll go watch. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's a little cooler than this. But it's always so fun. I thought, how cute is that? Now I could make it a more colorful card, but I love that. And I love where are the other cards. Thank you. I don't know the other, the other ones we just showed because I wanted to oh. show the. Oh, no, they're right here. This is the same paper pack. And so we have both a floral card. And then this kind of a card. So I just love how you can just use your same paper and create all kinds of different things. Elaine, I love your comment. She says these videos makes her feel socially connected. I love that. I absolutely love hearing that. Ginger said she made beautiful American Girl complete outfits. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I know I used to pick up some outfits at craft fairs because I just so appreciated when people made those things. That is so cool. Rebecca says she's got oodles of washi tape, never uses it. Good place to start. Yes, it is. And it... And notice the difference. This is so quick. And I think this is a fun look too. But for a quick little thing, a washi tape is a really, really fun thing to have. Um, so very fun. I don't know. This one does seem to last. Um, someone was asking, and I missed the name, um, says it often doesn't stick well enough. And I know that's often happened. They actually say it's good to burnish, which would mean I would take, I'm not with these, but once you put it on, burnishing anything means to press it on with something so that it sticks it. nice and tight. Mm -hmm. But I haven't. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I haven't because we each have one. Mm -hmm. So how cool is that? And then let's make one more. And this is from this is from the um, the free paper, the Rings of Nature. That's a free celebration. Item. Oh, looking for this. And I'm just using the flip side. So you'll see the houses on this side. And then put that on. And let's see, what do I want to use for this one? I think I'm going to use twine for this because those colors on. Yeah, so I have more of this. I had several of these left over from some project I'd done. So they were all in my little twine box. But okay, I will do this. And this one, I think I'll do a, I'll try to do a bowl. We'll see if we can, we'll see if it works or not. Oh, no, I'm not going to because I realize all my link, that I'm thinking I have all this extra, but it's all on one side. I don't think it's going to work that well. That's okay. Bowl so I won't. One loop. Yeah, I think we'll just let it be. Okay. So I'm going to take this. And this was the opposite side. You can see of that paper. Ooh. And I don't mind fussy cutting. I have fussy cut all those houses out because, you know, I keep in little bags. Like I have a whole bag of little houses. I have a whole bag of those butterflies. I love doing that because then when I come to make quick cards like this and I'm it was just this morning, I decided I decided on the card last night, but I hadn't made any other than the first one. And then I put up the thing saying I was going to make 10 cards. I hadn't made any except for one. <laughs> So I had to make nine quick cards between when I put that up and now. So just know I have to take the photos and edit them and put them up. Today I wasn't all ready. But I love that. That's my go-to. So I just found one or two that I would stamp. And then the rest, they're all from my cutout. This is from my cutout thing. This was actually left from another project. So I had that one ready. I actually love this. This is from the same Santa train. Um, but I use paper from something else, just from the other. And to me, this could be... A, a sympathy card, a birthday card, not a Santa card at all, which this one is more 
of a Christmas card. So I was just going for the different ideas. And I just had a lot of these already cut. These were in my little pile from that. This was in my pile. So it's just the another easy way to have things like that on hand. Um, so which is pretty fun. So I know there are a lot more, since we're talking about American Girls dolls again, I know that there are a lot more now. Are they still like historical or are they modern day? I have no idea since I don't, um, my granddaughter unfortunately is not into those. My boys liked the books just as much as the girls. And I, but I think it's because I had both. And so I read such a variety of things. They were all great. Um, if I had only boys, they might have said, oh, well, we're not, you, you know, it, you know, you know how much of things are uh, <laughs> kind of contagious, but I know they liked them every bit as much. Uh, so that's just kind of fun. So I have not kept up, even though I'd love to, oh, I better put this on first so I don't squish anything. I think these houses would be a nice thank you for going to someone's house for dinner, nice sympathy, you know, anything. Welcome to the neighborhood. So I really love this paper. And I think it's free. You can't go wrong. That's uh, probably a little bit close. Got to, got to read the words. And then I'm going to pop this one up. And I'll use some more little ones. I had to replenish this out here. But I just think. So that's why I could also make quick cards. And so now, you know, and I just think, how cool is that? So I think these are so fun. And now considering I have a bunch of these all done, you know, I have some women that I call my Monday Mavens that come over and they help me. And sometimes now I'm going to have them do birthday cards because I just can't keep up. But using, when I think about it, using any of these kind of patterns where I have these pieces cut out and I just cut the paper, then we can just sit and assemble and make a ton of cards. So I think that is pretty Pretty fun. So um, Kathy's saying we could all come to Texas. It's even hotter there. <laughs> I said, no. I know I was talking to someone from Texas. Was it yesterday? And My brother. Saying, yeah, your brother too. But I was talking to someone and she was telling me, I don't know what it was, 100 and something. And I thought, oh, my goodness. So now your guys' job is to come over to the Backward Stampers and share using this very same layout. But you can embellish, you you know, you, you can go, this is like the starting point. And so we see tons more ideas. And, you know, for those of you who make cards for ministry or make a ton of birthday cards and stuff, this is just really a fun thing. Ginger's saying she's a fussy cutting fool. So she's got, got ducks, ice cream cones, doggies and mice. <laughs> yes, great while the TV is on. And that's what I do too. And whenever I start cutting into a paper, if I use it for something and I have a big chunk left and there's things to fussy cut, they just go in a little folder by my chair because at night, if I'm looking for something to do while watching TV, I just do more fussy cutting. So that is just all of these, that and the washi tape and the easy layout, just some easy ways to quick do cards. I also think if I wanted to make a bunch of these, they'd be easy too because you would, you know, you'd stamp a dozen and then you'd sit and color while you watch TV. And that's the same kind of idea. You can do it piecemeal. So did we do four cards today or three? I made. How, how many did you make? I made four four live, okay. and I shared six more, so ten okay. cards. Yeah, because I thought you were going to make ten cards. Well, I could, but I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you did. <laughs> he was a little worried, but I thought, I figured four was a good number to make. But just know, these will all be on my, um, this will all be on my blog, at least by at least in the morning. If not, I'm gonna, I'll try to do it tonight. But thanks, you guys. We just love you all. So, oh, thank you. Rebecca says we are prayed for and loved. I We love that. We love you guys. We love that you spend thank this time you. with us. Let me know if you have any questions, if I can help you with anything. And, um, oh, one more thing. One more thing. Um, I Back in the back porch stampers, you guys really do want to come joy, join. I uh, had drew three more names. So over there, and I have to post it over there, of more goodies. We had a little informal chat, and I just shared some stamping tips. So some of you are on that, which is really fun. So we're sharing. Um, so the three names that are, these are going to are Ginger Fabre, Stormy, Stormy Swan, and Sharon Brown. But I'll post that over there too. So you guys will all message me and I'll send you that. So thanks everyone. And, uh, oh, where was that um, Corgi stamp? And it was right here. Glad we're friends. 
It is adorable. And I just look at this. I'm blown away by you. Is that <laughs> an amazing thank you statement? I love it. And I love this. Growing older is mandatory. Growing up is optional. Happy birthday. And it's guinea going to be a great day. And a friend like you comes along once in nine lives. So it is an adorable set. So thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you on Monday. Goodbye.